Ang first time niyang mag-travel, tapos mag-isa siya. Hi guys, good morning. Well, good morning pa kasi umabot ako 11am pa lang. Today, the plan is susunduin na namin yung pamangkin ko. Nag-apply siya dito as tourist. Ngayon, hindi. As student visa. So, may pasok siya sa October. Gandang ano yan. Magandang pag-usapan yan. Kasi gusto ko sabihin sa inyo kung paano namin siya napapunta dito. Kung ano yung naging proseso. Kung magkano. Kung matagal ba. Ayan. Ididetalya ko yan sa inyo mamaya. But for now, kakain muna kami. Sakit ng lalamunan ko. Mali ata na kinain ko sa, sa live yung sneakers kagabi. Na karma ako. Iningit ko yung mga viewers. So, ginawa ko ni Andy ng lemon para gumaling ako. Hagan! Oh, oh, sweet. And today also, months rin namin ni Andy. Wow! Wow! Meron tayong pahabs. Pagdating na yan ng pamangkin ko. Dito. Alrighty, good morning guys. So, today is pretty exciting. I was actually expecting this on Monday. Sabi nila may delay. So, I bought myself my birthday gift. Even though my birthday, as you know from the vlogs, was in May. Uh, I didn't really buy, you know, a bigger gift for myself. So, this was a gift for all my hard work that I bought myself. Ooh, it's upside down. All right, I'm just hoping for the best that it fits. So there it is guys, I got myself. What did I get? Ooh. So it's from D Squared. Uh, this is one of my favorite brands. Actually, I had uh, a pair of glasses before from D squid that I really loved. Um, I actually still love them until this day, but they're a little bit bent because uh, someone sat on them. So let's see what I got. Now, I got this on sale, so don't you worry. Uh, I bought it on Farfetch, also not a sponsor. Uh, I got it for 50 or 60 off. So I thought, you know, I might as well get something nice. Uh, you know, if you in invest in good boots, they're gonna go a long way. You can wear them with a lot of things. So I just thought this would be a perfect item for me uh, to wear with jeans, jogger pants. Kahit ano really, so yeah. Got these from D Squared. Just hope that they fit. That's the only uh, problem I usually have. Oh, guys. It was the wrong order. So, actually first time it's ever happened. Uh, as you can see in the video, I was kind of stuttering a little bit. Uh, those stutters were me trying to emotionally accept that I had the wrong order. It was supposed to be the lace-up boots. Uh, I'm not a big fan of Chelsea boots because I do have a wide foot. So for all you people out there who have wide feet, Chelsea boots just don't work. So that was the reason why I ordered the lace up one. So as soon as I opened it and I could not see the buckle or the laces, I was telling myself in my mind, like, I hope these Chelsea boots fit because for the video, I just want it to be like, woo, got the right one, but no, it was wrong. So what I ordered actually, it's called the D squared lace up boots. Um, I would show a picture, but Recently, we've been posting like pictures and videos and they get flagged uh, for copyright, so cannot post it. Um, but hopefully if I do reorder it, you will see it. But yeah, I was trying like not to react badly um, because I was so excited to shoot the video and I've been waiting for like a week already when I bought them. I was like so hyped. But that actual shoe costs, I think $200 less than the ones that I bought. 
So that was part of the disappointment. Then also it didn't fit, and also it doesn't look as good. Like the lace-up one is, it's worth $200, way more actually, really, if you think about it. It's so much better looking. But in saying that, um, I am returning it. Like I said, I ordered it from Farfetch, but the good thing is, uh, the people at Farfetch, they're very, very easy to contact, which I found fantastic. Customer service, incredible uh, so far. So they'll be picking it up tomorrow, which is like, it's next day, which is great. They're picking it up for return uh, tomorrow between 10.30 to 12. Yeah, which I think is really, really fast. That's like, you know, next day. Free return, so I don't need to pay anything. They did let me know that the shoe is now a further 20% off for the one that I actually want. Um, so yeah, I will decide because I do really want the shoe because I just think it's going to look fantastic. Um, but I just want to talk a little bit about their customer service because I was really, really impressed to be honest. Uh, I've tried to like, you know, in the Philippines and if you're watching from the Philippines, you will understand this. Things are so hard to return in the Philippines. Majority of the time you cannot return them. You know this. Uh, it's either you get store credit or you know you can swap the item but yeah so I called them the number was there on the page um, there's actually like a section in the email once you received it are you happy with your order would you like to return it you got 14 days anyway after the phone call I didn't film it I wasn't sure if I was allowed to film it you know maybe there might be some restrictions on filming it because you know it, it is their customer service and it is their business but basically they sent me an email which find very professional. They said, we're sorry your order wasn't right. Uh, we ask our partners to follow the quality condition guidelines. We understand how disappointing this can be. So we'll offer you free shipping and a promo code for the next time you shop with us. So yeah, they sent me the email um, that it will be collected tomorrow, September 9, from 10.30 a.m. to 12.30 p.m. And they give me the booking reference number. Uh, the return tracking once it's in transit the money that i spent will be returned back to my bank account uh, within three to five days so yeah they left all the numbers here there's a receipt here so yeah uh it was the wrong order but what i'm very very thankful for which i think you can put a lot of trust into a brand is when they have a great return policy if you're getting into business and doing fulfillment drop shipping anything like that this is actually a really good experience it's not a good experience in the sense that i got the wrong order uh, of course not um, but that they can do a great return policy and next day pick up you don't even need to bring it anywhere i think that's just like that's crazy great is that a good word? Crazy great. But Farfetch, you've done an amazing job with that. Um, and I will continue to shop with them, even though we had this little mishap. Um, it won't stop me from shopping with Farfetch because I've bought like numerous things from them uh, in the Philippines and here. I bought shoes, I bought glasses, bought other branded items. Um, so yeah, really impressed with the customer service. So if anybody from Farfetch is watching, fantastic job uh, as a business person myself I can really appreciate it just letting you know guys uh, if ever you do decide to shop with someone this is not sponsored I'm just telling you uh, if they do get your order wrong they will help you uh, it's very quick they're one phone call away and they will pick up the next day which is great so anyway I'm off to work that was a very very long ramble and they can probably see on the CCTV that I have not left the house yet uh, but yeah, I'm off, it's rainy, let's get to work. A new place, a new home, for a while, let me feel alive. Nothing to hold me back, take my time, just enjoy the ride. Hi guys! Nandito na kami ngayon sa parking lot ng airport sa Adelaide kasi susunduin naman namin ang pamangkin ko dahil pumunta siya dito using uh, student visa 
And syempre maraming magtatanong dyan, paano? Handa na po ako. Handa po kong explain sa inyo habang naghihintay kung ano yung prosesong ginawa namin. So unang-una, uh, kumuha ako ng agent. Yung agent po na yun, eh, nasa sa inyo kung kaya ninyo, syempre budget-wise. And pangalawa, kung talaga namang hindi nyo, uh, hindi nyo kailangan, uh, no need to get one. So kami po, yun ang unang-una namin ginawa. Pangalawa, uh, kinuha namin yung requirements. Ang unang-unang requirements na sinabi sa amin ay yung IELTS. Kailangan siyang mag-exam at kailangan niyang pumasa doon sa required na, na ano ba tawag doon? May required grade na kailangan. Uh, kasi ang, ang course ng pamangkin ko ay cookery. So, ang, ang required na, na grade po para doon ay 5.5. So, siya naman, mas mataas doon. Kaya, pasado na siya. So, nung nagkaroon na kami ng IELTS, uh, kailangan nyo pong bayaran yun na. Ah. Yun ang unang-una namin. Ay, yun ang pangalawa namin binayaran. So, una, agent. Pangalawa, IELTS. Ang IELTS po ay 12,000 pesos. Yan po ang pangalawa namin binayaran. And then, kumuha kami ng school kung saan siya uh, fit. Kumbaga, nasa sa inyo po kung saan school kayo mag, mag-aaral. Siyempre, option nyo yan, choice nyo yan. Kung saan ba kayo malapit titira dito, ganyan. Eh, since um, yung nakuha namin school, in-explain sa amin ng agent na ito yung address, ito yung mas may affordable na price, pasok dun sa budget ninyo. Kinuha namin yung quality school. And yung quality school, nag sila ng installment pay. So, ang nangyari po dyan, sa namin yung IELTS, dun sa school para makakuha siya ng Certificate of Enrollment. At pag nakuha na po niya yan, pwede na po tayong mag-process. Kasi yun lang naman ang requirements na babayaran natin, IELTS and uh, school. So, after po nun, kailangan mong kumuha ng insurance. Ang insurance po ay mandatory. Kailangan po yan kasi hindi kaya alaw ng Australia na dumating dito ng walang insurance. Alam niyo naman po siguro kung bakit. Ang insurance po na kinuha ko ay 64,000 pesos. Sorry po, pesos ako nag, nagko-compute kasi ano, hindi ako sanay pa mag-convert ng Australian money. Tapos, ah, uh, Nag-enroll na po kami, ba? Diba? Ang binayaran ko lang po muna doon ay ang down payment sa school, which is kasama na yung mga school materials na gagamitin niya sa first SEM. Ang binayaran ko po ay 186,000 pesos. Yan. Pero may school fee pa po na 6,000 pesos. Para po malinaw. Yun po yung additional. And then, medical. Ang medical po ay kinuha namin sa Philippines. Kailangan po, hihintayin nyo muna yung referral letter from your agent. Ang tawag po doon ay referral letter. Bali po, sa kanila muna manggagaling bago kayo humanap ng ospital. Kasi po, may mga accredited hospital dyan sa Pilipinas. Ang ginastos po namin dyan ay 7,000 pesos. Ayun. So, yun lang po yung ginastos ko. Uh, IELTS, 12,000 pesos. Insurance, 64,000 pesos. School fee, 6,000. Down payment sa school, 186,000. Medical, 7,000. Para po siya ay makarating dito. Kaya ngayon, nandito na kami sa airport kasi uh, today yung flight niya. Siyempre, additional po itong ano ha, aeroplano. Tapos, ah, uh, yung syempre additional pa po dito yung flight niya ang kinuha lang po namin ay ano Cebu Pacific kasi uh, yun yung tama dun sa date na gusto namin at saka yun yung pinaka affordable uh, di bali umalis siya ng Pilipinas 11.50 kagabi tapos uh, via Sydney dumating siya sa Sydney kaninang umaga ng 10 o'clock uh, Sydney time and then umalis siya dun ng 5.30 ng gabi Tapos ngayon, 7.30. 7pm na. At inaantay na namin siya. Actually, it's 7.15 na. Wala pa siyang text. Pero aabangan na rin namin siya kasi baka mamaya walang internet, hindi na kami ma-text. nag lang kami sa parking lot. Pero yun nga, gusto ko lang din i-vlog muna sa inyo at explain sa inyo yung naging proseso. So kung meron kayong hindi naiintindihan, pwede nyo naman po akong i-PM kung sino po yung agent na kinuha ko. Siyempre, ang 
migrate visa from Hill Costes. Ayan po, kung uh, hindi nyo siya makontak, pwede naman ako, tawagan nyo ako para naman i-relate ko sila sa inyo. So, thank you Kuya Hill at tinulungan mo po kami mag-grant ang visa ng aking pamangkin si Jaja. Ang pamangkin ko po ay meron ding YouTube channel. Pwede nyo po siyang i-follow. Ilalagay ko po yung link ng kanyang YouTube kasi sabi ko sa kanya, maganda na i-vlog niya yung change ng buhay niya. Uh, In-explain namin sa kanya na iba na yung magiging reality niya dito. This is really the life na pag-uumpisihan ng bagong buhay niya. Which is nakaka-proud kasi uh, first time niyang mag-travel, tapos mag-isa siya. Ayan, nagawa naman niya na mabuti. Siyempre, uh, ginayad naman namin siya. May internet naman sa Sydney kanina. Kaya, ayun. Uh, we can't wait na ma-meet niyo siya. Antayin na natin siya. Papakilala namin siya sa inyo. Here we go, guys. So, we haven't seen Jaja for... Almost one year. Almost one year. So, it's pretty quiet car park. Not too much happening. We're with uh, Catboy. <laughs> Lele is very excited. Mimi probably won't really remember Jaja so much. I remember her. Alrighty. It's a nice, nice airport. Uh, so she's probably already here. Sorry, Jaja. We're like a few minutes late. She probably doesn't know my free Wi-Fi, so... No, she knows. She knows. There's a lot of people here, so... Hi! 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 Hi, so Jaja, ja, we're looking for you. So we just stand here? Yeah, the toilet's just over there. So patiently waiting. There's not too much going on in uh, Adelaide Airport. It's quite a small airport. It's not so busy. I think this might be the only flight that's come in so far. Sydney and Melbourne. So we're just waiting. Medyo malayo. Yung makikita muna natin siya. <laughs> makikita muna natin siya naghahadap. Okay. On the gimbal, guys. It's a bit shaky because of pad light. I'm only coffee to stay awake. It's <laughs> Mimi excited. Lele lalo. Lele excited. Where is she? Where is she though? Kawin ko na sa toilet daw siya eh. Yeah, there she is. Who's there now? What's that? Who? Lele, Lele. Oh, Lele. Ja, ja. Hi, Ja, Ja. Hi, Ja. She doesn't know. She doesn't remember you. Oh, we'll bring. Yunla. Oh, let's go now. Say hi. You don't remember Jaja, no. Oh, let's go. Oh, Lele, go down now. You can just go here, I think.
nakauwi na kami. Um, nakalimutan ko palang sabihin kanina doon sa breakdown nung processing para doon sa student visa. Of course, meron din pong payment yung pag-lodge. Na-miss out ko yung part na yun. Ang binayaran po namin is 640 Australian dollars doon sa pag-lodge. Kasama po doon yung student fee na 6,000 pesos. Yun po yung magkasabay. So, pag nakuha nyo na yung certificate of, employ of enrollment, pwede nyo nang i-lodge yung inyong visa. Tapos mag-aantay kayo. Ang waiting period namin, nilodge po ng June 13, lumabas po ng September 2. Yan. So parang July, August. Magta 3 months lumabas yung yung visa. Tapos may mga other requirements din like mga supporting documents. Siyempre yung diploma mo, yung grades mo before, yung passport mo. Yun. Sobrang kaya mo yun kung graduate ka naman ng high school or year 12. So, ayun po. Again, uh, kung gusto nyo pong magpa-assess para sa student visa, you can PM me or migrate visa. Thank you so much guys for watching. I hope nakatulong ako. Good night!